back to the YouTube channel of Parents of Vids, and this is my week three preliminary finals tips for 2023. So this decides the grand final officially. It decides who makes it for the 2023 grand final, and um, yeah, four teams remain. Four teams remain, and uh, yeah, it's exciting to see who gets through to the big stage and the biggest stage of the year, pretty much in the NRL. So uh, really, I'm keen for the week ahead. Uh, it should be great, and. Um, you know, tough for whoever loses, like loses, I guess, to get this far. But it's still a testament, a good testament to get this far. I mean, teams like Broncos, Warriors have done so well this year to get to where they are. No one expected them to make a prelim. Uh, and obviously, Panthers are still there consistently every year. So, it um, should be a good contest, uh, I reckon, both of them. So, I'm looking forward to it. I will, I will just say, though, I'll be, I'll be going to the Panthers Storm game on Friday at a Core cool Stadium. So, I'll be there. So, uh, please let me know if you're going. Um, maybe we can meet up or just, like... You know, I want to see who's coming as well, because I'll be going to that game. But, uh, yeah, no, look, like I said, it should be a good um, two games of footy and really crucial ones too. Uh, but as always, if you're new watching the channel right now, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, currently at 3,679 subscribers, I think. So the goal is it to 3,700 by hopefully end of this uh, week, maybe, or next month um, at best. See what happens, but... Yeah, that's the goal for the channel, 3,700 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get into my preliminary finals week three tips. Here we go. Okay, on to the game that I'll be at and the first game of the prelims. It is the Panthers taking on the Storm at a core cool stadium at 7.50 p.m. So, um, yeah, well, look, obviously Panthers and the Storm have been at the biggest stage yet um, before and have been in these situations many times. So it'll be interesting to see who does come out on top of this one. Uh, funnily enough, the last time these two sides played at a core cool stadium was the 2020 Grand Finals, and I was there as well. Um, lucky I got a ticket at the time. Um, but yeah, no, this will be a good game. This will be really good. Um, as I said, both sides have been in the biggest stage before, and uh, it gets no different here uh, in a prelim this time around. Um, <clears throat> looking at both sides, for the Panthers, um, Jerome Lewis is back, so that's a huge in for the Panthers, a big boost there. Same with Isaac Tago, uh, he's in the centres, and Lewis at 5'8", obviously. Uh, Jack Colger and Luke Garner go back to the reserves. Um, uh, oh, sorry, no, they go back to the bench, uh, and it looks like that also with the Panthers, uh, Cleary um, suffered a uh, finger injury during the week, but he's, free, he's fine to play, and it's been a big... Um, I guess overreaction about the injury as he went to hospital for it, apparently. And for the Storm, well, the other Jerome's back. Jerome Hughes is back for the Storm at halfback. Uh, he's been named to play, um, returning from a calf injury. Uh, Xavier Coates remains sidelined, so Remus Smith uh, retains his spot on the wing, and obviously Olim in the centres. Um, with Hughes back, Tyron Wishart slides to the bench, and uh, Ronson Gale goes to the reserves, and Tui Kamikamika. Um, is starting this week a prop despite having a head knock last week against the Roosters. Um, yeah, well, my tip for this one, uh, whoever wins goes to the grand final and whoever loses is out. So uh, do or die for both sides here, do or die. Um, look, I'll tip the Panthers, I think. I think the Panthers are overall stronger than Melbourne and I, and I think I can trust them a bit more on this stage. Melbourne might trouble them early, but I think Panthers have too much class. I mean, with, with Luai back, that's the biggest boost you can get in a prelim final. So um, I'm sure his influence will make the players um, players just as good as, as they have been all year. So I'll go Panthers 1-12, to 12, a scoreline of maybe 24 points to uh, 14, 10 points. And um, first try scorer, I'll go with Sanin Taruba. Uh, Panthers to win, and they'll make their um, fourth, fourth consecutive grand final. Okay, on to the very interesting game now of the prelims and this is uh, decides who makes the grand final for the first time in a while so if the broncos make it it's their first grand final since 2015 um and if the warriors make it, it's their first two uh, first grand final since 2011 where the bird gang won that one actually had to um, make a sneaky reminder about that uh but yeah um well it's huge for both sides because it's been a while since both sides have tasted this much success in a while uh, especially being in a preliminary final and being one win away from the grand final. Isn't it crazy? Like, it's just crazy that either the Warriors or the Broncos will be in the grand final for this year. It's just, I'd never expected it. But uh, it's a good change, a good difference. And um, yeah, no, both sides have done well to get to where they are now. Um, but looking at both sides, uh, and this game's at Suncorp Stadium, as we know, 
But looking at both sides for the Broncos, um, they've got no changes. They are one to seventeen from the week before, and they beat the Storm um, at SunCorp twenty six nil. Jesse Arthur's keeps his spot on the wing over Corey Oates, which I find interesting. But Arthur's is, is a good young player. Uh, and for the Warriors, uh, the Warriors get the same seventeen as well. No changes there. Uh, SJ is all good to play still. Josh Curran dislocated finger is fine to play, and Marini Corey who did a knee is fine to play too. So both sides are one to one to seventeen. So. We should get a fair contest here, I reckon. Now look, my tip. Well, if we remember, if we do remember last time when these two sides did play, it was during Origin period, and obviously the Warriors had some players out um, with injury and other stuff. The Broncos had players out too, so uh, and no Reese Walsh because this is the biggest moment for Reese Walsh because he played for the Warriors. Obviously, he left to go to the Broncos this year, returned back to the Broncos this year, and well, his first appearance against the Warriors is in a preliminary final at Suncorp. Jeez. How things work in rugby league is so funny. But um, my tip for this game, as much as I'd love to see the Warriors make the grand final win, I think the Broncos will be too strong at Suncorp. I mean, look, the Broncos lose at Suncorp with the atmosphere that they've got behind them and the amazing support that they have got. Uh, if they somehow lose, I'll um, be shocked and I'll be... Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be disappointed, really. And I think Broncos fans will be fuming. I don't blame them if they lose this one. But, um, look... I think the Warriors should be too, you know, well, they'll be in there, but I think the Warriors will come just short and the Broncos should be too good, I mean. So Broncos 1-12, to I'll go over the scoreline of 26 points to 18. I think some points we scored. And first try scorer, let's go Katoni Staggs. But everyone, that's my preliminary finals uh, tips for 2023. So I've got a Pampers versus Broncos grand final. I'm sure it's what most people are picking, but the Warriors, man, I I'd love to see them get in there somehow. Um, but yeah, that's my tips. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment your tips in the comment section down below. What's your 2023 grand final? Let me know in the comments down below. But thank you for watching, and enjoy your week of footy.